my solar panel uh, wiring is uh, finally complete so here you have the UPS and you have uh, four 12 volts 150 ampere hour seat and rating deep cycle marine batteries tubular batteries and that's Sada my new puppy and uh, as you can see on a semi cloudy day it's putting out 55.5 volts in load conditions and uh, it is producing 23 amperes so I have uh, put a panel that is around uh, 2000 watts and it is right now producing around 1200 watts which is not bad considering the fact that it is not very sunny today so the wiring was the most difficult part for us because you know uh, it's not an easy thing to bring it all the way up <coughs> down rather from the terrace but anyway we have tried to do a good job to the best of our abilities and it comes all the way from up there so this blue wire is it is for this wind windmill but uh, that didn't produce enough current so right now we have uh, stopped <coughs> with the work on the wind turbine until we can get a better one that is suitable for the type of wind that I have which is not much so anyway this panel board I have uh, made it in such a way that if you switch it off then uh, you don't get any readings that way I can stop the current from constantly flowing through the meters and uh, cut down a bit of losses I guess actually the ammeter is a shunt type ammeter so there is not much loss to begin with but anyway I thought why unnecessarily run the meters when I am not looking at it so if you turn it on you will get the readings and that one the ones on the top are for the wind turbine right now it is not connected so it is showing a reading of zero you can see battery voltage is 55.4 volts input voltage is 230 volts solar charger is charging the battery bank UPS is ready is what it says temperature is 34 degrees centigrade it's a pro home UPS it's got an MPPT charge controller it is 55.4 volts now which is reasonably good 